Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to my nightmare in Hydra Near. Today, we're back at the Gravity Fed Mine, and, uh, yeah, I have fixed the system and broken the system at the same time. I mean, typical in Hydra Near, right? Uh, so yes, uh, I was actually live streaming this with my audience, and we have figured out what was going on with the RAM drills. Now they are all working. The downside is, uh, this is not as good as I once thought it was. You know what? Let me just show you. So, when we were running, you know, maybe eight of them, I, I would assume eight were working, uh, it was working perfectly. Now when I turn this sucker on, well, I'm, I'm a little nervous, but let's just do it. Um, we're gonna turn that on, and then, oh god, turn this on. Well, as I try and run up here, let's just go see how this is doing, and... <laughs> as you can see, it's not as good at sorting out the dirt as I thought. The benefit being... They are indeed all working now and producing dirt. I'm gonna turn this off because I have to clean this out manually and I don't really want to deal with that. But yes, now that they're all working, what I assumed was a good gravity-fed system is not as good as it seems. So, um, yeah. Did we actually get a lot of stuff here? Uh, oh, they all got stuck on top of this. So, we did get a little bit, but not too much going out of it. It's mostly stuck up top. So yeah, basically what I'm saying is I now have to figure out a new way to deal with this dirt because... My dream is to obviously build to the sky. I'm not going to do that, though, if I'm just going to uh, overrun this system with dirt, which is exactly what is happening here. So, what I think we're going to do today is get rid of the whole gravity-fed idea and go back to the grinders. I think I'm going to have grinders on all the outsides and then maybe just a small 2x2 uh, two two square in the middle of a, of a drop zone. That basically means I have to redesign everything because my grinders are on the sides out here and I need to bring them out into the middle. So, uh, yeah, basically I have to redesign everything and we're going to see what happens here. Maybe it will work, maybe it won't, uh, but I'm really committed to this system clearly and I want to see it working, damn it. Okay, we're all cleaned out, and as you can see, the system is quite lucrative. Um, yeah, that was, what, 30 seconds of mining, so it does really well. It's just, you know, my, my whole goal was to not have any uh, blockages. So, we're going to strip literally everything down, and that really sucks because it's a pain in the ass to deal with um, moving anything up here. But what I'm thinking is maybe I should do this and still rely a little bit on gravity. Again, as long as we have grinders on the sides, I think that should be okay. Uh, and I may as well use these things since they're up here, and we'll just see if this actually works or not. If not, um, we'll obviously get rid of them. So yeah, I'm thinking just below these, we'll have grinders going into this middle zone right here. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that's enough to get this fixed. I pray. I'm not too optimistic if I'm honest, but we'll see what happens. Alright, a little bit of an update. So I have put in two lines of grinders on each side. These are obviously going towards the middle here, and then we'll have two on each of the ends over here going in towards the middle as well. So we'll have four grinders in the middle. Now, there is a few things I'm worried about this system. This is uh, definitely going to be a test. Obviously, we have these points over here that could collect dirt. Uh, these things generally shoot out dirt, though, so I'm not too worried about that. Also, I don't know how often they're going to get stuck on these slides here. We might have a little bit of buildup. And if that's the case, we'll obviously just expand out the grinders to uh, go over to this as well. I just wanted to um, not have to worry so much about pressure power. We're going to have a lot of grinders up here if we had to do the outside row as well. Um, and then obviously pressure might become an issue. So we may as well start small and then work our way up if we need to. Uh, we're also going to have a lot less of the um, actual dirt grinders down here, so I don't know if they're going to get overloaded. We can obviously expand out the uh, grinders as well if we do need to. There's lots of room here, uh, but this is going to be our first test. So i got to add two more, got to plug up all the holes, and uh, do a test run and see what happens here. Okay, totally destroying the place, but um, yeah, I kind of need to to do the plumbing for this, so... What I'm hoping will happen here is, um, as you can see, I'm overlapping the uh, systems here, but the actual shoot should be okay. So I got this one attached to this one, this one attached to this one, and they're just clipping into each other. I have brought these pipes in. I wanted to keep them nice and high and out of the way. We'll wrap them around and down, and this should be good. I think we actually should be okay, and I'm kind of getting excited because uh, I took a lot out of this system, obviously. Uh, you can see all the machines over here, so it's technically a leaner system, therefore more pressure should be in it, and we actually got rid of a lot of the piping as well. I still got piping all over the place that I got to get rid of, as you can see, uh, but yeah, we took a lot out of this system, so if this works, it's, it's going to be even better, which is great, uh, but yeah, I just got to finish this up now, and we should be able to test it. 
Okay, and it's time for the moment of truth. Now, let me just take you uh, quickly around the system so you can see what I changed. So, yeah, everything in here is looking actually pretty good. I'm pretty optimistic that this will actually work just fine. Uh, please ignore the giant amount of dirt at the roof. I don't want to move anything because it's all going to fall down. It's staying in place, so let's just let it stay there. Now, obviously, I have this uh, kind of taken apart still just because we might have to do some changes. May as well not put it back together when we don't need to. Uh, so, yeah, we got rid of a lot of piping around here going up to the second layer. I have just wrapped around kind of like I did at the bottom over there uh, just to connect to all the conveyors or grinders, I should say. I just realized I forgot to, um, actually we can turn this into a curved pipe and that should be good. That way we're not wasting any water. Just like that. So that's connected to all the grinders. And up top, I did actually make it a bit better. I didn't think about this, but you can actually obviously, um, combine these together. So we shouldn't have any blockages in the sides, hopefully. And, uh, assuming we don't get too much stuck on here, we should actually be okay. I'm pretty excited about this. A little worried we're still gonna get some stickages down here. It might happen. Actually, how did I think about it? Let me... No, that's not going to work. I, I, I need something of more of an incline to get that done. I was hoping to kind of hide this part, but there might be some things that stick here. Hopefully not. And at the bare minimum, hopefully it's something I can deal with manually. Uh, so yeah, this should be good. Well, I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but we may as well test it out. So I think we'll start with... Um, let's just do some of these. Let's not do all of them. So I'm thinking... Let's start with eight. Just so when we get the system going, we can analyze it and make sure nothing's sticking or anything like that. And we'll go from there and add more to the system later. So yeah, we have eight on. That should be good. I think we're all connected and ready to go. And I am so excited right now. Let's just close this. We have the system powered up, so that's good. First of all, we'll turn on the bottom. Let me actually make sure there's nothing stuck on the conveyor belts either. Oh, it's actually moving. That's nice to see. Sometimes they don't like to move for whatever reason. So yeah, that was just all from the roof. Uh, a lot of gold was stuck in the roof. It was, it was pretty funny. But it uh, looks like more or less it's good here. There's a few stuck there, as you can see. But aside from that, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, time for the big one. Turn that sucker on. Hopefully I did everything right. And we should start hearing some stuff going through the system here. And oh, right into it. Man, that chucks it a little too far, actually. Um, and as you can, oh no, we are getting a little bit of buildup already. So I wonder if it would be crazy if we put like a roof in the middle, because it's actually shooting it perfectly into the middle, and then the grinders are not working, as you can see. Uh, that's a huge bummer, but what if we put a roof in the middle? That way it forced it to be knocked into the grinders here. It's working a hell of a lot better, but you gotta remember we only have eight on, and already, as you can see, we're getting some buildups here, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna try something. Let's turn this off, and uh, let's try and build a quick roof here. Okay, so what I mean is something like this. Now, I only have two right now. I have to go buy some more, but having four on top of these, that way whatever lands on top will be ground. Now, obviously, with these drills, it will bank off the sides and not actually go to the top of it, but once we start building up more, there will definitely be ones going on the top. I actually don't think it's a bad idea, though, because they'll just basically bank off these and drop onto these ones and grind anyways. Now, I could also do another thing, which is drop all these down by one and put them exactly on the funnels. The issue with that is we did that in our last system, our house mine, and it likes to get stuck on these sides. I, I know that, which is why I wanted to have a little bit of a drop off so it goes into the center of the funnels. So, I don't think it would be smart to drop these down by one, uh, just because we'll get blockages on the sides of the funnels. So, I think this is our best option. We'll see what happens when the dirt banks off of these, because they're not high enough yet. Uh, and hopefully, it should be okay. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try it and see what happens. So the one drawback of this design is going to be piping. I have no easy way to hide the piping away from any blockages at all. Um, what I think we're going to do is wrap it to the side here. And by that I mean, um, we'll take this one and wrap it like that, and once we have the other one, we'll wrap it the other way. Uh, and the pipes will both be coming out on this side. We'll connect them together and have to push them. We might have to take off like this drill, for example, and then push them out as quickly as possible. That way, when we start building up, we won't hopefully get any blockages on these. I think that's the best option. I don't really know what, what else I can do. I could go downwards, but then we run into the issue of having blockages down here, which would be way even worse. I guess I could come in from the top as well. Um, that might be an okay idea, but let's just try this one, because that's going to take way more pipes to come in from the top. 
Okay, we're all corked and ready to go. So I'm just going to, again, turn on 8. That's all we had on last time. And as I said, I don't really think that they're going to land on the top of this. They definitely won't. But um, again, as we build upwards, they will. And that's the important part. I think right now, as long as we have a bank falling down onto these, we should be good. At least on paper. But hey, <laughs> it's Hydraneer. Anything can happen. And I think we know that at, 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 at this point. So let me just make sure we still got lots of power in the system. That's good. Actually, we're getting low there. Let me go make another one real quick. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that stays in place. All right. So we're going to turn this on. Turn this on. That's clip. Oh, God. Uh, my game is frozen. And it crashed. Oh my god. What? So yeah, I'm assuming it's the clipping I did in here to set this up. Um, which is weird though, because I did pretty much the same thing down for these guys. And it's not lagging or glitching out the game. So I'm trying to figure... It's not technically a loop though. Last time it was an actual loop that had my, my me uh, crashing the game. So it's got to be this. There's nothing else that we added that would glitch it out. Because it was working before. So yeah, for whatever reason, this game doesn't like loops like this. So I'm thinking this has got to be it. So if we put another T-pipe here and do what I was originally going to do, which is have a line all the way across, that might work, I hope. Downside is I got to get rid of another RAM drill. But hey, it's not like we don't have enough of those. <laughs> Clearly we do. <laughs> okay, guys, I accepted defeat. I really wanted to hide as much of this pipe as possible. I didn't want any little crevices like this because that's a perfect place to um, get dirt. The irony is, the other way kind of had a loop as well, and it was crashing it. So, um, yeah, I went for a little bit more of a simple design, and basically I just have a pipe going in here, connecting to all these, going in one direction, so they'll all be coming down here and going into this system. Um, didn't want to do it this way, obviously, but sometimes you gotta, you have to do a change of plans to do this, um, and hopefully it actually works. So... Yeah, we'll test it out again. I need to uh, plug up a few holes here, I think, any anyways. Something I could possibly do is just put a wall here so these uh, machines will bank off that wall and drop down. We'll have to turn it on and see how it reacts, though. I just got to clean up a bit now. Um, I had to clean up a lot. There's, <laughs> there's stuff everywhere. Okay, and I pray that this doesn't crash my damn game. I am sick of game crashes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now everything, we'll take a double check, should be running and going. And yeah, as you can see, they're all going in the one direction. We'll see what happens here. I'm going to intentionally turn these ones on to see if they start getting blockages. Now, like I said, these things are not going to be hitting the top of them. But, okay, this, this is exciting. This is exciting. I'm just going to slowly start turning some of these on. But yeah, as we build up, they will definitely hit the top of these, and, uh, oh, I didn't, I for forgot about that piece. And yeah, they should hopefully grind some of the big pieces that are falling on top of them. Okay, how are we doing down here? We have gold going through. We have eight on right now, currently, I think. Uh, and I'm not seeing too many blockages. We got a little guy right there, as you can see. That's gonna ha happen regardless of what I do, though. And actually, this is working really well. I was worried about this piping here. It's going okay so far. Let's up this a little bit more. Fortunately, I hit some pretty bad lag, so I think we'll turn off the system for the time being. I need to repair this as well, but first test, a complete success. Now, obviously, we have to try it with all of them on and see what happens there. Okay, so there we go. Let's, yeah, let's definitely stop. I, I need to clean up this place a little bit. That's adding to a lot of the lag, of course, and something is, as you can hear, hitting everything. Generally, when you hear that noise, just constant... It seems to have actually stopped. Okay, so something isn't stuck. Oh! See, that's an issue. Unfortunately, we had a little bit of a blockage there because I didn't clear my system out at the start. Uh, but yeah! Okay, this is making me excited now. We actually did do quite well. So yeah, the only blockages we got is just in this middle here. Um, and unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. They just kind of hang out at the top sometimes and get totally stuck. But that was a quick run, obviously, but it did go quite well. All right, it might not look it, but we are much more clean. So uh, let's try this again here. And like I said, screw it. Let's just try it with all of them on. Worst case, you know, we have a complete blockage and I get a little sad again. I've been sad a lot in Hydraneer though, so who the hell cares? But yeah, this is, this is what I actually enjoy is just testing to the max of a game. And um, yeah, I think I'm kind of hitting the limit of Hydraneer. I think I've hit the limit of Hydraneer for a while now. Uh, but god damn it, I'm committed 
to having a system that doesn't have any blockages in it. So yes, I think we got 25 now because we got rid of one. Let's see what happens when we turn this sucker on. Um, yeah, we're pretty clean down here. I got rid of all my gold, as you can see. Well, there's still a few in there, but um, that should hopefully help with the lag. Let me just make sure the actual conveyor belt's clean this time. We have a little bit of a blockage here. Just a little guy. There we go. You know what? It's nighttime, too. Let's sleep. And yeah, turn on the system at the crack of dawn. Oh my god, I'm so scared. All right, well, here we go. It started. Oh, that that's a lot of dirt, I just heard. And I'm hearing, I'm hearing jingles. <gasps> oh, it's kind of beautiful how it does it all at the same time. Now, obviously, if I didn't want to risk it um, getting blockages... Oh, you bastard. You are just so <laughs> evil. Now, wait. I didn't check the holes. So there might have been blockages already in there because I was cleaning it out a little bit and they were dropping down. So I think I might have did that myself. Okay, so yeah, let's make sure we got nothing in here that could possibly get stuck. As you can see, even the little guys, um, once they get locked and they don't move, your whole system's just gonna block. And I think that's what happened. I truly hope that's what happened because I'm gonna be so sad if not. Regardless, we're getting a lot of gold, I'll tell you that much. Even if we're just testing for mere seconds, this system, you can earn so much money. I mean, how long do we have that on for? 30 seconds? Let's go see what our gold's looking like. I just cleaned it out, you gotta remember. That's pretty damn good. And I'm lagging like crazy. Well, that's a bummer. Um, I had all the gold I just cleaned out of my system in my, my cauldron here. Crucible? I always call it a cauldron. Um, and I returned the menu and saved, which I always do because, you know, things break. Um, and it deleted my gold. So, <laughs> once again, the game ate my gold. Okay, I have confirmed it is clean in here. Now, I'm going to cry if when I turn this on, it blocks itself because I I don't know what to do, man. It's it's the damn funnels. They don't, they don't actually funnel. They just make them stick. So... I, I, I am, I am lost if this doesn't work. What we're gonna have to do is obviously redesign this again because I don't think four is gonna be enough if this gets blockages. Okay, so they're all on. Oh my god, I am, I am so nervous right now. But honestly, I'm not too optimistic anymore because we've seen that it actually does get stuck. Um, I'm just hoping it was because there was some stuff already in the system. All right, I'm stuck. I can't get up. I want to get up quickly to see. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just... It just gets stuck on the funnels. Like, what am I supposed to do? I'm losing my mind. All right, let's see if I can at least um, get some good gold out of this system. It is lagging like crazy. Like, it is mining so quickly. Uh, I'm just going to try and help this out. <laughs> oh god, not kill myself. It's working quick. But, at this point, I honestly don't know what to do, guys. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Worst case, I could just chill in here. And, as you can see, this works, but I did not want to do it this way. But, yeah, let's, um, let's just grind some stuff and melt some gold down and see how quick this works. So, I, I, I'm gonna let this go for, like, two, three minutes. And I'm just curious how much gold we're earning in this system. Oh man, it's 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 too fast. This is this is too fast. You can tell by the lag that the game's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> I mean, it's not bad though. I can actually keep up even with the lag. It's just this is not the what I wanted this system to be. Okay, at this point it's gonna crash, so let's unstuck and turn off the system. Cause I can hardly even freaking move. Okay, just let me get over there. I'm trying my best to get over there. Oh, man, this... Oh, God, what was that? I just really would like to turn off my system at this point, game. That would be great. Turn it off. Please. Please, come on. We can do it. Oh, God. Okay. It's off. It's still laggy, but it's off. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know the system's working good, though, when, <laughs> when it actually freezes in air. So, I wasn't even... I know I said I'd be about five minutes, but I was maybe a minute and a half... So, oh my god, <laughs> this is just ridiculous. We're getting some bleeding, as you can see. That is some dirt in the system. But this is, it might not be perfect, but if we want to earn money quickly, I got to assume this is working quite well. It's pretty ugly right now, but let me just check with 
having the system on for, I would estimate, a minute and a half. Let's see how much money we've earned. Okay, I decided to get a gem from my other system just because they're so much bigger, and uh, I think it's worth it. So, yes, I've, I've cleaned out the system here, and um, should we check how much the bars are worth? You know what? Yeah, let's do it. So, 5,000. Not bad. And then I split this into two, obviously, because I want to build a necklace. 3,000. You got to remember, I lost all my gold. <laughs> this was just in the minute that I had it turned on and we lagged like crazy. So, uh, I want to see how much this is for market price. This isn't market price, so once we make this into a necklace, and I think even making it into a necklace is ma ma makes it worth a little bit more. Uh, but, yeah, we might ha have earned like 15 grand here, which for a minute of mining, I mean... It's it's not perfect by any means, but at least it's it's earning money really really quickly. All right, so there we go. Now let's see the damage on this sapphire necklace. Now I'm not gonna take the uh, the truck because we learned last time what happens there. So yeah, that's twelve grand non market price. I'm gonna wander over to the market now, and uh, yeah, we might actually be able to get fifteen grand for this. Okay, how are prices? Well, actually, very, very good for me. I don't even have to sleep right now. And, wow, that didn't add as much as I thought it would. But still, 12 grand for a minute. I would assume a minute of mining. That, that is amazing. I might not have the mine that I wanted, one that's perfect and, you know, never clogs. But at least I have one that definitely is the fastest mining system that I've made so far, at least. Uh, and if I have to, you know, clean it out every now and then and earn 12 grand in a minute, I'm totally fine with that. I have a few more ideas on how to hopefully fix this, but honestly, I'm gonna wait for the next patch. I've been talking to the developer, I know he's gonna have a patch coming out soon, and, um, I'm hoping some of the issues that I'm having will be fixed with that. Regardless, I mean, obviously this didn't go as planned, but, I mean, it never does in High Engineer. I had a fun time doing it, and, uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on ways to improve our system over here, let me know in the comments below. Uh, regardless, I'm definitely going to be using this system to earn a crap load of money so we can spend some more money in the next episode. Uh, but, yeah, I gotta clean this place up. I think I'm done for the day. I tried my best, guys, and, um... Yeah, we didn't get the system we wanted, but we got a lot of money, so that's good. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.